Hey there, everyone. It's Shelly Levi here. And tonight I wanted to share with you um, a little bit more on CBD oil. And how do you take it? How much do you even start with or use? So I wanted to share with you kind of my experience because that's kind of the thing with the CBD oil. It's actually an individual experience on how you use it and how much. So to give you kind of a little backstory on this, I suffer from four autoimmune diseases. One of those autoimmune diseases being fibromyalgia. And back in February, I had what you could call a severe fibromyalgia flare. Um, it was very, very limited limiting and prevented me from doing a lot of things, um, even just getting sleep at night because I was in pain from head to toe. I was that person, and I've said this before, I've been embarrassed to even say this because I know better, but I didn't really know other options. I was that person that was taking ibuprofen and Aleve pretty much on a daily basis when it things like that happened, um, and sometimes three to four times a day just to try and get through the pain. And um, I know better though. And I know that's probably a big reason why I probably have leaky gut and my autoimmune diseases kept um, growing and I kept developing more because that's what happens when you have leaky gut and you don't heal it. Your immune system just can't keep up. So I looked for an option and I decided to try CBD oil. And just like you guys, I, you know, went in and I was wondering, how, how much do I use? How do I use this? How do I take this? So, hey, Anne, thanks for jumping on from Minnesota. <laughs> All right. So this is what I did. Um, I thought at first, because the pain I was having from was from the neck down to my mid-back, mid I actually thought I would be taking a topical for that. But what I learned that if you are a person that's dealing with autoimmune diseases or health issues that are associated with major inflammation, you need to attack that from the inside. So I went with an oil with basically what they consider a tincture. And it's just kind of a dropper, just like this. All right, so that's what I went with. Now it's not to say you can't use a topical like a cream especially for skin conditions like rashes, um, eczema, muscle, maybe a muscle strain, a pulled muscle soreness. It's really good to be able to place on that to help alleviate some of the pain that you might feel or associate with those types of conditions. But again, if you have autoimmune, you want to go from the inside. So that's something you want to keep in mind. Liquid ingesting for internal use to go after autoimmune diseases or anything associated with that inflammation. All right, so this is how you do it. We recommend starting off low. More is not necessarily better. So you start off low. And you're gonna find with these bottles, there's lots of different levels of milligrams. I've seen 100, I've seen 250, 500, 750, 1,000. The higher you go, the more concentrated the oil becomes. So it's important to know which kind of oil that you are using for the concentration purposes. And that's also going to determine what is a serving size of that bottle. So, for instance, in a 500 milligram bottle of the company that I use, is about one dropper is about 20 drops, and it's equivalent to about 10 milligrams. On the 750, which is the one that I have here, uh, one dropper is equivalent to about 15 milligrams. Again, that is 20 drops. So, this is what you do you start with five drops five drops, and I typically recommend the 500 milligram to start with. Five drops. Five drops is simply, um, it's probably just a tiny, I'm gonna show you that. See there, here we go. Not even a quarter of a dropper, so it's simply 
one, two, three, four, five. So look, there's even still a little bit left in the dropper there. Five drops. And you're going to place that sublingual right under the tongue. And you want to hold it there for about a minute to be able to let it absorb into the body. So one minute underneath the tongue. Now, it's very, very important that you're trying to avoid food or anything that you're drinking 15 minutes before and after. So this really has a chance to get into the body and absorb properly so you can get the best results from it. All right, you're gonna do that five drops two times a day. One in the morning, one at night, two times a day. Not just one, and you're not gonna be doing a massive whole dropper in one day. You're not gonna really get the benefits like it's designed. So split that serving up two times a day and start off with five drops or about two and a half milligrams. That's it, two and a half milligrams is all you need morning and night to start. Now, at, after three to four days, you're like, oh, I'm not really seeing the difference. You bump it up. You bump it up and now you go to 10 drops, which is gonna be about five milligrams twice a day. Again, you're gonna wait about three to four days. See, take a mental note. How is the body feeling? Is there anything changing? Do you feel less pain? Do things relax? Are you thinking more clearly? Um, those are all things that you want to take mental notes on. And again, if three to four days pass by and you're still like, hmm, it's still not quite there, maybe just a little bit, well, then you just bump it up again. You keep cycling that, so you go to maybe 15 drops until you find what we call the sweet spot. So it's the sweet spot. And that's the spot where you're going to be like going like, oh my gosh, I just made it through the whole day and I never felt anything, never felt any pain from my fibromyalgia at all through my back. That's when you're going to know you're going to hit the right dosage for you. And that dosage is going to be different for everyone. Average, anywhere from 10 to 30 milligrams a day. That's average, but that doesn't mean you can do less. And there's some people that may need more. And those people that may need more, it's probably because they've got major, major, major stuff going on. And um, fortunately, that's not me. So I'm right, I'm that person, I'm about five to seven milligrams during the day. But at night, that's my tough time. So I'm at about 15 sometimes even to 20 milligrams at night. So in total, I'm looking at about 20, 27 milligrams each day that I'm taking because I split that up twice. So you can do a smaller dose in the morning than the evening. So that's why I said pay attention to how you're feeling. You don't necessarily need to take more if you're feeling great. And during the day wasn't my problem spot, it was my evenings. So. That's what you're going to want to pay attention to as you kind of move forward this, with this. Cycle through those three to four days and then just increase. Now, if you find out, let's say you were doing that 500 milligram and you're like going, okay, I'm kind of getting to the higher end of the dosage and I'm still not seeing benefits. Well, maybe you're a good candidate to go to the 700 mill 750 milligram bottle. So you may want to go and bump up to something that's more concentrated. So these will last anywhere from one to two months. Everyone's different. Again, it all depends on how many drops you are requiring, how much inflammation is in the body, how much pain you're dealing with, um, what it's for. So it's gonna be a little bit different for everyone, but I guarantee you, if you stick with it and cycle through it, typically about two weeks along, you're able to kind of figure out what works for you. All right. And if you have something, say like fibromyalgia, you could also double up using this to fight it from the inside. But then if you've got some days where the flare is just over the top and you're going to have them, even when you're on that 
if there's high stress, if there's days where you overdo it, even sometimes it might not be enough. And then that's where you could also double up and do a topical in the areas that seem to be the roughest or the toughest. For you, that's right between my shoulder blades. So I'm putting some cream in that area at night as well to kind of double it up. All right, so I hope this has helped you get a better idea of how to start off with this. You know, how to find a serving that fits your needs. And if you have more questions on kind of how this works, um, or if you're not sure what is best for you, don't be afraid to reach out to me, message me. I'm here to help you out. The stuff is the bomb and it's changing people's lives. And if you're not on the bandwagon, you might want to consider giving it a try. All right. Thank you so much for jumping on tonight. And I hope, like I said, this helps you get a better idea of how to get going with the CBD oil, how to build it into your system so you find that sweet spot that gets you to that pain-free level and start healing the body and get it back working like it's designed. All right. You guys have a great night, and thank you. Bye-bye.